So I bought a few cards. Why the heck did I do this? Let me tell you why I did this. Because Innistrad is coming right around the corner. You got Midnight Hunt, and you have the other Innistrad set that follows. Off the top of my head, I can't think of the name of it. But you have two Innistrad sets back-to-back. Anji, or Anyi, or Ange, depending on where in the world you live, how you want to pronounce this, um, she is pretty nasty. And the reason why, I think she's a she. Is she a she? She looks like a she to me. Um, she's pretty nasty, though. And uh, the reason why is why I think it's going to go up in price is because if they print more stuff with madness on it, and I'm sure they will, we're going to finally get rid of crazy commander decks focused around combos with Anji that combo off using crappy madness cards just to get to the combo. And we're going to have actually good Anji decks that are going to focus on combos that are going to get to the point we want them to be. But, but they're going to be good madness cards. We have good Madness cards in the deck now. There already are a few good Madness cards, but not really too many that stand out, you know? I mean, there, there obviously are some good ones, but this, this card, which a lot of people hate, it's going to actually see a bit more play. Need to be able to build around it a little better. And there is some really good combo potential already with her. Got, um, and it, it works. You can bust off combos left and right with it while cycling. You're basically cycling through your deck. But I want there to be more support. I want there to be... Just more, more, more cards to synergize well with her. She's very simple what she does, you know. You basically want to rummage through your deck and combo off. Bam! That's it, right? Cool. But let's do it in a better way. So I went out and purchased over 100, uh, about 180. I think I have 200. I'll buy 200 and then I'll stop. I got them all off TCG Player. If anyone uses uh, TCG Player, if you're new to it, man, these cost me, um, I started buying them when they were 60 cents. And when I stopped purchasing them, um, which today was the last purchase I made. At, uh, it was $0.69. Cents. Um, and right now, they still have a crap ton for $0.69. Cents. So I'm just throwing it out there. But if you do purchase a TCG player, use the affiliate link in the description. If you buy anything that I suggest ever, um, it'll save the channel uh, some money, and that helps uh, go towards openings on the channel and free, ba uh, free battles and whatnot. Yes, you're about to see an Angie playmat. You know why? Because it's that freaking cool. But yeah, they're only in foil uh, as well. I hope she doesn't get a reprint. But if she does get a reprint, she better have some freaking nasty, nasty support back at her. You know what I'm saying? Like, I think that'd be really cool. And then I wouldn't mind a reprint. Because there's only one of these out there, plus the oversized version. And also, there's 20 cards not pictured in this that I own of Angie already. Anyi. It's Anyi, man. But with that being said, let's get up into some other stuff. I have a lot of mail we're going to bust open. A lot of this stuff might be repetitive to you guys. The last time we did this, um, that I showed off some cards I, I, I purchased. Here's like some of the ideas. We got one of these guys, you know, pretty sweet. And then I got a whole bunch of these. Uh, we got Brand of Ill Omen. That's right. Most of them are in near mint. I think some of them were in light play. And then I also got a bunch of these other cards. Uh, Soul Echo. I ended up purchasing a bunch of. They're all on the reserve list. Call me crazy. Yeah, crazy. I understand. And there's more cards I wanted to show, but I don't know where I put them right now. Where did I put them? Ooh, what's in this box? Oh my goodness, what's in that box? I gotta crack that box open. Okay, that's something else. Uh, but I also got fan mail here too. So anyway, where's the stuff I wanted to show off? Oh, and one more time, if you're a patron and you sent me these, please, or whoever sent me these. Oh, here's here we go. Two Dead of Loyalties. I bought also not long ago. Pretty freaking nasty. And if you're a patron and you purchase, uh, not purchase these, this has to be shipped out too, by the way. That should be going out today. Um, if you're a patron and you sent me these, if you're the person who sent me these, please contact me. I, I can't remember who the heck it is. It says Gator on the back gator on the back but uh, that's probably is irrelevant so let me know uh if you sent those or email me mossbergserver gmail.com uh so i can get those back to you let's start cracking stuff open what the heck is inside of here i have no idea let's see what's up here i like doing videos like this because it's just more chill you know i just sit back relax kick it baby and chill you know just bust stuff open oh that's right i forgot i purchased these i bought they were like down to like a buck something um i bought a whole bunch of thrastas um, what is here? About 12? Oh, these are non-foil. 
Yeah, I, I, how cool of a play mat would that make, though? It'd make a cool play mat. I'm not going to do a play mat out of it. I might, though. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 16 Thrastas. I think I paid like a buck something for each of them. Uh, like a buck 15 or something. Yeah, it's on my TCG player somewhere how much I paid for it. But a buck 15, I'm like, whatever. I'll pick up a crap ton of those. It's a sweet, powerful mythic, man. Um, and it just came out, and it's probably at its all-time low. So I'm like, done. I'm buying those up. Buying those up. We're going to inflate the value of the market. You guys ever... Uh, <laughs> you ever inflate the market by buying up a bunch of one card? I wonder. Um, just the Anji, man. Oh, there we go. I love this, man. So nice. Um, very, very cool card. That's the uh, pre-release right there. That is the pre-release. And then behind there, ooh, oh, Thrasta. Very gorgeous. <laughs> oh, the foil. I think Thrasta finally started going up. And the, 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 the pre-release promo on this uh, of Torak, very, very cool card indeed. Uh, might be going up um, as well. I think finally all the cards I purchased here are starting to tick up instead of tick down. So, yeah, that's cool. Let's see what else we got up in here. Cracking open mail with Joey Moss. What's some recent recent purchases you guys got? Do you buy singles? I'm telling you, if you do, TCG player annihilates the competition. Um, if it's not TCG player, it's eBay. I'm telling you right now, man. It's it's one of the two. That's another sweet little thrust. So let me get prices on these for you really quick. So we're looking at four forty nine on the foil. That's market price, and we're looking at three oh two for the normal. Uh, version and I paid 261 for all my regular copies uh, of this card, um, the non foil. So there you go. Wow. Um, and now it's up to 302 for the norm. That's not bad. Do not bend. <clears throat> Do not bend. So it looks like it just started to tick up and I caught it at the very bottom. I'm hoping. I hope. I hope that's the bottom. I hope it bottomed because that's what we all hope. Buy, buy at the bottom. Buy at the dips. Buy the dips. Sell the buy the dips so you can sell the flips. Uh, there you go. That's the stuff. Said, "Hey Joey, how you doing, Sonny? Where's the card at, though? Did they for? Oh my God! Did they forget to include a card? Oh, it's in here. Stupid me. <laughs> so echo, um, so echo. I paid anywhere from three fifty upwards to four seventy five. I want to say for all my soul echoes in near mint. And they're still hovering around that price. There's really nothing new to learn with Soul Echo. So there you go. Um, yep, now you know. Let's see what's up in here. There's not going to be a whole lot of diversity this one. Most of it is like the same. I just got it. I picked up a ton of these kind of cards, man. I really like the dinosaur, and I'm sure I'll do some giveaways and stuff down the road. Um, and that's another reason. I'll be like, I didn't give away my favorite monster. You know? Um, and hopefully by then, like, the Thrasta uh, extended art foil would be like 10 bucks or something. Uh, there's Torak yet again. He even circled the promo. Look at that. What a nice guy. Uh, these are still hovering around the same price I bought them at. Um, which is a good sign. They didn't dip lower. And some of these were purchased like um, a week ago. Some were purchased uh, two months ago. I got some crazy shipments in and I'm like, wow, I purchased that a while ago, but I guess they were just bulking them together. I don't know. But either way, I'm pretty freaking happy. TCG player has been doing me awesome. Um, what's inside this one? This one I purchased at 538. 538. Um, oh wow, it still comes in there. That's pretty neat. My Torak still comes in there, so never even touched by hands. That's pretty legit. Um, you get it from the straight from the pre-release. Uh, this one's going for. Yeah, I want to say I did really good. I bought this one at five dollars thirty-eight cents, and currently the market price is at uh, eight dollars sixty-seven cents. And latest sales were seven dollars, six seventy-eight, seven dollars. It tells you all this information on TCG Player. That's why I say, if you guys ever use TCG Player, man, use the affiliate link in the description. Just make your purchases through there, um, and just start buying left and right, whatever it is you're gonna buy that you already are purchasing. You know, uh, appreciate it a lot, guys. Then we got this guy. What is up in here? Da -da -da. My dress is all over everything, so that's why I'm holding everything back. Come on, open up. Set up. Dang. Okay, there we go. All right, what else we got here? Come on. Dear Joey, appreciate feedback. Skadingle, skadangle, skadoosh. How much was this one? So 
So here's another one. Five five forty eight. Five dollars forty eight cents. Not freaking bad at all, man. Oh man, they taped the crap out of these. But this one was five forty eight. Pretty hot sauce, baby. Another near mint. B E A beautiful. Five forty eight. Again, we are beyond that already. So I bought the absolute low dip, I want to say. <laughs> you don't always, you can't always do that. But when you do, oh man, it feels so good. It feels so freaking good when you buy the absolute low dip. Uh, this is from TCG Player Direct. I got this guy. Um, which is the same thing, you know. This should have some more of the reserve list cards. I'm going to hoard these. I'm not going to lie. These aren't going anywhere. I might give some away to patrons here and there. These are all, it should be light play or near mint. Uh, just more of these brand of ill omen. Um, there should be four in each one, two, three, four, bada bing light play and near mint ones should be in here. So pretty cool Four and four. These are definitely the light play one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Bada bing That's sweet juice. What was this one for? How much? Um, they're all supposed to be near mint 2916. 2916. That's supposed to be near mint. 2916. No, I mean, that's, this doesn't look near mint just by the bait. I mean, well, maybe it kind of is. I don't know. I wouldn't, well, near mint is different than mint. You have to understand that. And I look to look at things like near mint is like really good shape. I, I would, in my opinion, how, you know, like, I would call this light play. In my opinion, what I'm saying right here. Like, that is definitely light play. I wouldn't say that's near mint. I'd say that's more light play. Um, this card right here might be... This card right here would be near mint. That would be your near mint card. So I see one near mint, in my opinion. And the rest look like light play. Um, this one... Uh, that one's close to near mint as well. Yeah, that one's close to near mint also. I mean, as long as there's very minimal... You know, like like scratches are, are you know definitely minimal scratching on the cart. Um, I didn't do the whole light test, you know, and shine it from the side and everything. Um, but minimal minimal sur surface abrasions, minimal um, edging, uh, minimal ed edges, uh, edge damage, you know, to them, like you saw here. Minimal, definite minimal corner corner damage as well. You don't want to see really anything too much wrong with it. Maybe like one or two of these dings, you know, on the bottom left there. That would be like acceptable for near mint. But not much more than that, you know. So now you know. Now you know. Um, those Omen, the brand of the uh, of the Omen. Not the best card in the world. But I thought I'd just get a little position on them. Like get like 30 of them. And I think I do have 30 now. Oh, here we go. Dead of Loyalty. Dead of loyalties, and man, they, they, they do this, such a nice job packaging. I wish I could show you guys. But look, look at this. It just comes in like this nice little like sleeve of here, man. Like it's really, really cool. And I just pull this puppy out. Shrink. Well, come on. Yeah, there we go. Okay, yes, I just pull it right out. Just pull it right out. There you go. Pull it right out. Shrink. Okay, okay. Yeah. Shimona. Okay, we're getting there. Shimona. All this for one, one card, I know. Shrink. Okay. Bam! Dead of Loyalty. Now that is looking freaking near mint. That's what I expect to see when I purchase near mint. Very, very nice. And then I just do one of these. Shrink. Okay. B-E-A, beautiful. Yeah, not bad. That would be considered near mint. Yeah. This one's in much better condition than the other guy. So, Dead of Loyalty. What did I pay on this guy, you ask? Let me tell you, Billy. Let me tell you. Uh, this one... Wow, them thrastas, I bought a bunch for $3 for the near mint foil version. Um, one second. This one was a little higher. Um, it was $29.96. Uh, but then I got, I, I didn't buy um, 30, was it 35 or $38 and up as free shipping on TCD Player. I didn't do that. I should have purchased like one more thing, you know, for like three bucks to get the free shipping, but I didn't. So uh, total out the door was like 34 bucks. A little high on that. Not gonna lie, I, I really messed up the shipping on that one. And then I got another guy here. Cracking on open all these. But that Angie man, I'm telling you. Oh, that that looks that looks freaking sweet. Let me let me show you guys this. Oh, I've been waiting for these to arrive. This looks so hot, baby. Oh yeah, daddy o Oh my god, don't damage them though. Oh, that looks so good. 
And here it comes. Oh my God, that looks so hot, dude. Oh, it looks good. Oh yeah. What up, Gagan? Boom, Gagan, my dude, loving it. I don't just buy reserve list cards, guys. These ones I think were kind of a little higher though. Um, I got charged 153 for sales tax, 199 for shipping. Again, I could have avoided that shipping, that two dollars. I would have bought more of these. Uh, I got a total of four, um, and before the subtotal would have been 2169 for four of them, uh, but the total ended up being 2384 after everything. So not bad. Um, these are really hot. So each one uh, was about five dollars each for my Gigans. Bada bing. That looks hot, man. I like Gigan. Very powerful card. And uh, price on Gigan right now is at four eighty four. I do expect this to jump up uh, after rotation, give it a month or two. Um, the price will start going up. These are going to be heavily sought after. Uh, that's my thoughts. I'm telling you right now. They will be heavily sought after down the road. Geigen's really freaking cool, man. Geigen! Geigen uppercuts! I love it, man. Yeah, that's going to be a sweet card. Sweet card to get the hands on there, friends. All right, what else we got here? More of the... T man, I love how TCG, play TCG Direct, how they ship... I wish I could just get this out real easy, like. There we go. It came out nice that time. Okay. Bada skidink. So up inside of here, I have this one. No, 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 no Wow. Look at that, man. I love how TCG player ships. They do a freaking great job. Come on, Angie. Give me some love, baby. Look at that gorgeousness. All in near freaking mint. That's definitely, that's like mint right there for sure. Very, very nice. I have a position on Angie, you could say. About 200 copies. <laughs> hey, at 60 some cents. If man, if she jumps to like a buck, a buck twenty, I just if she jumps to a buck twenty, I just doubled up, you know. And if there's some madness synergy, awesome. I'm probably I'm considering buying even more. I might buy another hundred. I don't know. Very soon, I might buy another hundred. Who knows? Um, there's a lot left on there, so I want to clear them out. That's a sweetheart right there, Torak Dread Kenta. This baby, uh, I got at the all time low for like five fifty or something. It's definitely up beyond that now. Um, where is this one at? I got this one at, at 580 and it's all the way to 643. So we're up like 60 cents. Freaking sweet. Love this card. Um, I got high hopes for it and it's, I'm buying it because it's at the, it's at the low right now. So that's the idea anyway, behind all that crazy madness. All right. What's up in here? Uh, more soul echoes. That should be just one copy. Maybe. Yeah, one copy, Soul Echo, another one. That's definitely near mint for sure, crispy as can be. Cool, cool. Another copy. Throwing up in the Soul Echo pod. That's right. Let's see what else we got here. Reserve list cards are coming down in price, man. They're not uh they're not as um they're not as high as they once were. They're coming down. They're leveling out. The craziness is over, man. People are just holding on to the position now. And there's one more thrasta. Is that by itself? That's funny. A single thrust. Uh, probably paid like three bucks for that one. Okay, not bad. What else we got, baby? Uh, I got some fan mail up in here. Let's get to cracking this open. E -vil -vil one Right up in here. There you go. Let's crack this buddy open. Whoa. Show me the meaning of getting value. What's up in here? Shump. There are some cards here. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. What is up in here, man? Wink. See you, Joey Moss. Skadoosh. Please open on video. I'm not subscribed and not a patron. What? What? You're not subscribed and you're not a patron. What? <laughs> um, I'm not subscribed and not a patron and haven't liked a single video. <laughs> <laughs> but it's because my mom won't let me won't let me sign into YouTube. If, uh, um, <laughs> so cute, man. <laughs> I love it. If I could, I would like every video. 
Uh, oh, man, you're awesome. Okay, game time. Burn it and exit. Oh, I want to burn it. I can't I can't right now, though. I will exit. Burn one only half the card through so you can read it. Uh, and X one. I, I can't burn one, but I will exit. Uh, I hope you have fun. From Elijah. Um, Elijah Ville one. Two cards plus uh, two TA. Something like that. Okay, Elijah. I've had bad luck with Elijah's, let me tell you. Um... <sighs> That made me laugh wholeheartedly, man. Whole heart laugh right there. That kid, that kid's awesome. That kid's awesome, man. You little skadoosh bag, you. All right. Um, we got one, two. I, I'm gonna pick three. We're gonna get three up out of here. Um, and I guess we'll go with two. Th three and two are gonna get just freaking axed right here. Uh, three and two are gonna get the old hammer down sickle, Bob Bill. Okay. Uh, here we go. Bringing out the fun truck. Do, 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 do. Right up on the old chopping block, mates. Get a nice clean cut here. Oh, do, 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 do. oh that was nice and clean. That was nice and clean. Uh, shout out to MTG Attitude for that. That's right. Nice and clean cut right there. Thanks, Dave. All right, my ninja. Okay, let's see what we got here. What did we first? What did we get from this? From my from my player here. What did you send me? What's the goodies? What's up in here? Ooh, Hamlet Goliath. I would have been cool destroying that. That's pretty sweet. I like that card. Very, very cool. Powerful little guy. What? A Cub Warden. I love the art on this one. That is a sweet one. Very, it, it, hey, the value on this, I keep saying one day. One day it'll go up, baby. That is sweet. Thank you so much for that. That's a freaking cool card. I'm glad it dodged the bullet. What we got here? Oh, Eerie Ultimatum. Someone freaking liked Ikoria, like me. I, I really like Ikoria, so really cool. That's got the promo on it, man. Thank you so much, Eerie Ultimatum. You better be able to sign into your into an account. Start liking videos, young man. <laughs> awesome sauce. What did we destroy, though? Oh, no. Don't be something good. What is that? Terramorphic Expanse. Kind of cram. What does that card do? Sacrifice, Terramorphic Expand, search your library for a basic land card. Put it on the battlefield, tap and shuffle your library. That's pretty trashy. Uh, yeah. Oh, we'll see. Uh, absolute dumpster there. What else we got here? Oh my god, what a crappy freaking card. I don't know why they'd even print that. What was three? Is this three? What we got? Oh my god. Oh my god, it's shiny. Oh, that's really shiny. Or is this two? Oh my god, bro! Why would you do that? Oh, you just we destroyed King Caesar! You little bastard! I can't believe you made me destroy King Caesar! No! That's a nice card, bro! What is wrong with you? No wonder why your mom won't let you sign into her account. You send me stuff like King Caesar salad over here in the freaking mail and we butcher it in half. You shame on you, young man. Shame on you, young man. I can't believe that. I can't believe it's not butter. That was freaking sweet. Cool, cool ending to the video. We're not even done yet. We still got more to go. I can't, seriously, we just destroyed King Caesar, boy. Hey, make sure, you know, you, you get an account and, and, and log in and start liking and commenting. That was freaking sweet, man. Thank you so much for sending that out. I can't believe, how much is that King Caesar going for? We got to look. 1262, blaming mate. 12 bleeming 62. I can't believe you did that. I can't believe you made me do that. Where's my Godzilla at, man? Uh, the Death Caron. Um, I'm looking at that one right now. Uh, we're going about eight bucks. So it dipped again. I should probably buy more of those. <laughs> Inflate the market again. I have about a hundred of those. Um, Space Godzillas, uh, for sure. With the death on it. All right, moving forward. Moving forward. Moving forward. Um, I can't believe we just destroyed that. Uh, then I got something from my homie. Stay positive from Paws Brown. Um, was this something I won? I think this was something I won on his channel. Yes, man. That's freaking right. I asked him to sign it. He better have signed it. Joey, um, Joey, I'm so proud of you for taking the proper steps and cleaning yourself up. You're blessed in many ways. Thanks for hanging out uh, at the Casa. No doubt, man. Thanks for having me there. P.S. Stay positive. Very well done. Did you sign these cards on the card? You better have. Yeah. All right. Uh, the Evolving Wilds, one of the nastiest cards ever done in the world. We got that. Uh, Stormwing Entity. 
Yeah, I was just hanging out, and uh, he cracked a pack for me, man. This is what we got. Got Eliminate. Uh, I think I think that's how it went. And Slaying Fire. Very, very cool. I don't, uh, if it went that way, cool. If not, oh well. Yeah, yeah, it was like this. Yeah, like that. Maybe? I don't know. Not sure how I obtained these, but I got them now. That's sweet. That's Slaying Fire. All these in the Eliminate art. Thanks, Pause, for getting these out to me, man. I appreciate it. Stay positive. Get the powers, the powers, 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 powers. Look them up. Uh, MTG. Uh, pause. Pause MTG. Yeah, just look at that. I'm sure it'll pop up right there. Okay. And then what else we got here? We got something. What does it say? Open on camera, please. From Connor Dorino. Dorino. Am I saying that? I don't know if I'm saying that right. From Connor. From Connor. For all the way from Ohio. That's where we live. Hey, how about that? Mr. Connor, bring me a... Tr what is up in here, man? That's a lot of freaking cards. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. What are you doing? What is all that? What is all this? What we got here? Uh, hey, Joey. Uh, one random dude who watches your videos. Uh, Diren Direnzio. Okay. Hey, Joey, I've been watching your videos for about a month and a half now. Probably like three months now since I opened it. Um, and I don't regret becoming a patron. Your videos never cease to give me enjoyment. I got that amazing card you sent, and I thought I should return the favor. All cards in here you can keep. All that I would like back, if possible, is if you could replace the Croxa with the extended art and sign it. Do I have an extended art Croxa? I don't know, man. I, I don't know if I have one. <laughs> um, if I do have one, cool. If I don't, I don't know what to tell you. Uh, risky business. Um, you sent it at me. Um, I should return the favor. All cards in here you can keep. All that I would like back, if possible, is if you could replace the Croxa with the extended art and sign it. I might have one. If not, just send it back through the mail. I'll, I'll probably end up doing that. I'll put my return address in a smaller piece of paper in the envelope. All cards have Dragon Shield Perfect Fit sleeves. Anyway, keep up the amazing videos as I watch all of them the moment you post them. Sincerely, one random dude who watches your videos, Connor DiRinzo. 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 Okay. Connor, my dude. What do we got here, man? What do we got? Oh, my goodness. We already know what this does. That's right. Sacrifice Evolving Wild. Search your library for a basic land card. Put it on the battlefield. Tap and shuffle your library. Busted. Seriously, busted-ass card, man. I don't know why they printed this card. I can't believe we have so many of them. You are freaking making me flip out. You know I signed these, right? These puppies are going to be signed and given out. I hope you know that. Oh, my God. We have so many. Oh, my God. There's just so many of uh, It's raining wilds. Hallelujah. It's raining wilds. It's raining wilds. <laughs> It is raining you wild for freaking darn sure. You hooked it up, dude. There's so many. This is like one of every kind or something. That was freaking neat. That was really neat, man. It's like one of every kind. Bada bing, bada boom. Okay, this is going right back to you then, my dude. Um, this Crocs is going right back out to you. Unfortunately, I can't hang on to this puppy. I really wish I could. Oh, it's beautiful. Minty condition. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, that's going back to you. Underworld Breach Foil, Shadow Spirit. That thing jumped in price, man. That's like almost 20 bucks now. Very, very cool. Underworld Breach is always great. Uh, modern playable, you know, very freaking cool. Uh, EDH playable. And uh, Polochronus, that's a sweet card also. You hooked it up, my dude. Thanks for sending these cards out. Um, I like this card too. I think it's undervalued. It's it's removal on a stick, guys. It's pretty freaking sweet. All right, appreciate that, man. Thank you so much for ship, uh, sending this out. Wow, your address was on the back of that the whole time. Okay, very neat. Oh, <laughs> just sitting right there. Hopefully I wasn't on camera. All right, brother. Um, thanks. I'll get these back to you actually right after this video is done. Appreciate you, homie. Um, this is coming with you too. Da -da -da. Or just Crocs is coming back to you. Skadoosh. Uh, guys, what are your thoughts though? Let me know some stuff. Um, one, someone come over here and clean up my messy office. It's a freaking disaster piece. But what cards is that that you're interested in? What are you going to get? Um... What do you think is going to happen with Anji? You think I'm nuts? Or do you think I'm onto something here? I'd like to hear it, guys. I appreciate you tuning in. I'm Joey Moss, Bad Boy MTG. Get out of here, skadoosh.